Hi, we're here with Anne Tenye, who is the Vice President of Environmental Affairs at Maple Leaf Foods and a Partners in Project Green Steering Committee member. Thank you very much for joining us today, Anne. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, Maple Leaf's commitment to the environment and why you chose to go down that path? Mm, sure. Well, about 10 years ago, we really were getting started looking at what kind of environmental risks we face and what sort of compliance issues we faced. And, and that's where we started. And I think that's where most companies start. It's, it's a regulatory issue. It's a risk management issue. But then once you get beyond that, and when you have about 100 facilities across the country, it really is, it's, it takes quite a while to get your arms around all of that. But once you get your arms around that, then you start to evolve into eco-efficiency, and then you move into sustainability. And that's where we are. I mean, we think that's the right, it's the right thing to do business-wise, and we think there's also some good uh, savings to be had through eco-efficiency. So you're currently designing and building a lead, uh, lead certified manufacturing facility. Can you tell me a little bit about that process and the results you expect to see from it? Yeah, it, it's really very exciting. It's actually going to be North America's largest commercial bakery. And we're consolidating a number of smaller bakeries into the state-of-the-art facility, which will be opening um, very shortly, actually, probably in about a month and a half. And it's been a very exciting process because it gives us the opportunity to do things right and do things well, including from a sustainability perspective. So what we decided to do is look at where we can really keep our, our environmental footprint to a minimum. So that means stormwater management, all the stormwater is managed on site. Uh, we look at energy efficiencies. We look at where we're sourcing our materials for construction. All of those aspects are built right into the facility. And what do we expect to get from that? Well, we certainly expect to, to be able to save some money. Uh, it's not an inexpensive process, I have to say, but we expect that we'll be able to get a payback in about two years. So that's really very good for environmental projects. Um, so I'm very happy about that. We're looking forward to seeing the results and, and uh, seeing what it brings us over the next year. So, Anne, what kind of advice would you give to those that are considering building a green building and going down that path? Well, certainly green buildings aren't for everybody. You do need to know what, what you want to get out of it. You need to go in with your eyes wide open and recognize that it will probably cost a little bit of money uh, to save some money. So, but that, that's all right. I think as long as you know that going in, and, and we've seen what's happening with energy prices, they're not static, and particularly that's where we'll save a lot of money. So I think you, you have to project forward. What do you think your, your savings will be in a few years? And take a bit of a risk. Um, and that's what we've done, and we think it's going to really pay off. Well, thank you very much for coming in, Anne. We really do appreciate you taking the time and sharing your, your experiences with us. My pleasure. Thank you.